So today we're going to look at the KuGeek Smart Socket. So this is a another light option for your HomeKit needs. Wi-Fi certified, so this is a Wi-Fi version, not a Bluetooth. Looks like you can use Siri, all the good stuff that you can do with, with um, any of the HomeKit options. And again, we've got that works with Apple HomeKit. That is always important to look for. So for this, as compared to some of the other light options, um, this is not the plug. This is not a light switch. This is not a, a light bulb that goes in. So this is just a socket that uh, appears like it's going to go and spin into your regular light switch and or uh, light socket. And then you're going to place the bulb then in into this particular one. So let's crack this open and take a look. Again, well sealed. There we go. Got the instruction manuals here. Now let's look at that. You've got the HomeKit code. HomeKit code. A little bit of trouble getting this out of the box, which I actually like that. I like the fact that this is sealed in here well, because there are active electronics in here. This is kind of a Wi-Fi thing, and I don't like it thought of it bouncing around. So we've got the home kit here as well. So we've got the home kit code in multiple places. So if I ever lose my bo my my box, my instructions, throw it out, whatever, I've got all this. And you can see this is just a a regular light bulb here. All right, so we're going to screw this in um, into a, a lamp lamp socket that we have. And then we're going to take a look to see what this is like to add the home kit. It should be just as simple as anything else. We've got a little power button on here. So I'm guessing this will be, allow us to turn it on and off. And we will test that theory out. So here we are on my iPad. And I am going to use the KuGeek app to add the uh, new KuGeek socket. So we'll open that up. We're going to go add. We're going to go next. Select an accessory to add to home. And this is the standard home kit adding sequence. We'll see the cookie socket is there. I'll click on that. It's going to ask me to put this in front of my camera, pair it. And again, what's cool about this, what I like about the home kit system is this will actually take the current wireless settings that I'm plugged into and transfer it over to the Kugeek, um wireless socket because this is a Wi-Fi, not a Bluetooth device. Look at that. We have a firmware update available already, which is cool. And I can say, okay, where am I going to put this? Uh, maybe I don't want this in my default room. Maybe this I'm going to decide is going to go in my kid's room. Do I want it in my favorites or not? Click the done button. There we are, all added. Now we click cancel, and we're going to go find that. I believe this was just called light bulb. Firmware update. During the update, your product may become responsive and restart. That's OK. I don't care. Downloading, updating. So you can see that's here. There's really not much. Um, current power draw, that's kind of nice to have. Set a timer. No, accessories unreachable, which is normal. Um, as I'm doing that update, so it's probably going to be rebooting at this point in time. But you can see it's fairly easy to get this up and running. And um, overall, I, I like the Kugeek so far. Um, seems like a, a easy replacement for apartment dwellers who really can't uh, be messing around with the wiring on the walls or replacing light switches. But again, this is going to be uh, at the cost of um, one per light bulb per lamp that you want to be replacing this in. So it's got its advantages in that um, it's not going to be invasive. You don't have to do any major surgery on your house or your apartment to get this up and running. It's portable. You can take it with you when you leave. All that's great. So for the last part of this demo, we're going to look at the iPad app. Pretty simple. This is not a dimming switch. This is just on or off. So the Kugeek socket on and off. That's all you've got here really basic. Other than that, you've got the, the general 
um, Apple HomeKit properties. So you can go into here. Of course, we can go directly over to the KuGeek app. One of the things that I did kind of want to do is point out that in the KuGeek app, this is one of the only um, light sockets that I'm aware of that actually will do energy monitoring. So if we navigate over to the KuGeek smart socket here, of course, we can turn this on and off from within the KuGeek app as well. So we can scroll down here and you can see you've got a graph and this will give you power monitoring for, I think it's a, a two month period. We can set a timer within the app. It's kind of nice. Um, so final review. I'm not a big fan of the smart socket for a couple reasons. Number one, it has disconnected from the wireless all the time on me. It just becomes um, brain dead. I have to power it on and power it back off, right? So that's kind of an issue. And the other issue that I see with this is definitely around the size. So I've taken a picture here and let me show you guys. This thing is big. So if you combine the smart socket and an average light bulb on top of it, you can see the size difference here. This is going to put an extra almost two inches, inch and a half, two inches on top of your light bulb. And it's not going to fit in a lot of lamps. You're going to have to find a special lamp for it. Um, it's an interesting product. It's definitely something that it's Wi-Fi. You can get in, in quickly, and this might be a way to enter into your smart home or start your, your smart home journey. But I don't think it's a product that's going to stick around very often in most people's environments. So with that, I, I hope that you guys found this useful. Um, please, if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, comments, uh, you disagree with anything, please post that in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you want to, uh, any more information on making your home just a little smarter with Apple HomeKit, please check out for a coupon code to my Udemy course in the notes below. Uh, that would really help me out. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much.